am Mike Wong. And I'm John Kimball. And we are back at the Rock West Lab to talk about filament wound versus roll wrap tubes. Right. What's going on here, John? <laughs> Well, it's quite simple, different processes. Okay, <laughs> do tell, do tell. So we talked about roll wrapping, and that's a, a machine wrap where the material is pre-preg and it's wrapped around to the length of the tube, and then we put a shrink tape around it and cure it, and we just add layers upon layers to get a tube. Yep, and pre-preg is almost like a wallpaper material. Right, it's, a, it's cloth with, or fabric, with resin in it already. Film and winding is a completely different process. It requires a specific machine. We'll turn a spindle, so your mandrel is constantly turning this way. Okay. And then your fiber is coming from a spool off to the side, it runs through a resin bath, and then it wraps around here. A head moves it back and forth as this is spinning and then it slowly builds up the plies until you get the desired thickness. So you can wrap carbon fiber or fiberglass around the spool. Correct. Whatever pattern you want, depending on what kind of strengths you need from the tube. Right. So we, we focus on three different strengths. The most common is torque tube. Okay. So these, are, these can be used in race cars and things like that where they have a, a drive shaft that needs a lot of torque out of it. This tube, for instance, right here would make a good torque tube because all the fibers are in 45 degree angles. Okay. So you get really good torque no matter which direction you're spinning the drive shaft. And the other thing we can do is we can create something that will hold extreme amounts of internal pressure. So that way the fibers are going more in the 90 direction instead of the zero direction. And that will give really great strength to the tube. I also noticed that a lot of your filament wound tubes are larger in diameter than most of the roll wrap. Roll wrapping is governed by the machinery that we have for the presses that make the roll wrapping, so smaller is better. Filament winding, we can go to very large diameters. I've done up to 48 inch diameter. The space shuttle booster rockets were done with filament winding. The size depends on the machine that you have, but you can have enormous diameters with filament winding. Okay. You can also do small diameters too. You can get down to less than an inch. At Rock West, what is the maximum size tube you can make filament wound? Right now we have tools up to about 24 inches, but we can make bigger than that if we need to. There you go. Filament wound versus roll wrap. If you have any questions, feel free to reach us at our email addresses. See you the next time.